The great potential of volunteers is sometimes to start to focus on the person first. So I'm thinking particularly of a man who is a great jazz fan and we put an ad on Jazz FM and suddenly this very frail old man in his 90s had three people who could come in and play jazz and you had this great sense of the man first, the jazz lover. As soon as they started coming into the home, the impact was instant really. They feel really happy and just for example, a resident can sing. I say, okay Lillian, just sing for me. We just motivate them, yeah, yeah, you can do this. And the bam, 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 just plays. One of your old favourite tunes from way back when. You could see the impact just from the smiles on the faces of the residents. We are becoming to understand that emotional care is actually at the heart of good dementia care. A lot of things that we associate with um, deterioration in dementia are not actually about the illness itself, but about the lack of a person still feeling that they have um, meaningful interaction and that they have a, a sense that they matter in life. Those things for us are not just fluffy extras, they are actually really fundamental uh, to the well-being of people. And not just the people living there, but actually the people working there too. Volunteers can act as a friend, they can help with the emotional and, and, and physical well-being. Some residents have reported feeling real um, benefits coming through from the volunteer experience. From being very sceptical, volunteers has really made it for the residents on a weekly basis, from one-to-one -one friendships to the carnival atmosphere when groups have come in. We've had really good fun singing, laughing, lots of loud laughter, and that's what we like here yeah. in this home. Yeah. And it enabled us to have other cultures in to the home. And another impactful thing, we, we celebrated Eid, didn't we? Yeah, we did, yeah. Which we would oh, never yeah, normally yeah. do. Reciprocity, that two-way relationship, I think is something that's we need to work on more. That there's a sense for many older people that they're not in a position of giving still, that they're having people giving to them. And so a creative volunteer manages to perhaps ask an opinion or see that person as giving them something very important. So it isn't just a one-way relationship. We are lucky to have the old peoples and we are really lucky to share their experiences with us because I learned many things from them. Actually, I haven't got parents, so in this way I can find the parents for myself. A key role for volunteers sometimes is to support people being able to get outside. And that's because when a member of staff goes out with somebody, immediately the staff team who are left behind might be struggling to support those who are in the building. Again, we've seen an amazing impact on people being able to enjoy the entertainer more because there's someone beside them. They're not just sat there in the activity for the sake of it, but they are actually engaging with it. They welcome me always, always. They just shout, oh, good see you're here, yeah, just have a fun with you. <laughs> These things just make me happy that when, when I see that they are happy. If we can get every single care home thinking about ways to connect with the wider community, to bring more people in, to get people out more. I have a vision that a care home will end up the hub of a local community in the way that a school might be. So how do we create a world where the care home is a place where people enjoy visiting? Many of the volunteers that have got involved in this project, particularly some of the younger volunteers, have been given the first taste of operating within a care home setting and some of them have gone on to say that they would quite like to create a career out of it. You can use your time in a positive way and you can get the experiences, you can get the friends, you can get the knowledge. We know that volunteering makes a huge difference to the care home setting. We've got tremendous evidence to show that volunteers benefit, the residents benefit, the staff benefit, it, it's good for the care homes and ultimately, of course, it's, it, it's, it's great for the local community. The value of it has been astronomical for our small home. I did say to you, we're only a tiny home in Oldham, why would it be good for me? 
and I'd sell the idea to anyone now. We do need to think about how we can invest as care homes and care home managers in terms of really unlocking that value so that the volunteer gets a great experience and they're likely to come back. And there's also a number of toolkits and resources that NCBO and others um, can guide you to that will help you maximise the investment and to get the most out of your volunteering. Come and volunteer with us. Come and join us.